Hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show, and I'm here to apologize for that previous hangout on the air show about this meter here. I made so many mistakes in that show, um, and I'm going to try to do an update. I've taken that show offline because it's got so many mistakes in it, it's misleading, and I'm going to try to show you the, the meter again without making so many mistakes. Okay, here we go. This is the GY561 power meter and frequency meter. It's made for the most part for the amateur radio bands. Now the manual right here says it's good for 10% accuracy in frequency for 140 to 170 and 400 to 470 megahertz. That's what it's designed for. It will measure other frequencies, but if you get outside the range, the accuracy is not too good. Now, even within that range, the accuracy is only plus or minus 10%. The frequency range is 1 megahertz to 2.4 gigahertz. That's, that's the operational range. Uh, let's see. It does not give a accuracy on the power measurements. It said it will measure from 0.1 watts to 50 watts accurately. Well, not accurately, but that's the range it works in. It, will, it, it says do not apply more than 50 watts because you're going you're gonna to transmit into this device. Let me show you how. It comes with the meter, an antenna, this comes off, uh, this adapter cable so you can hook it directly to your radio for measuring power, two adapters for other types of radio connectors, The this one right here is made for the Bofang or Sumo radios that have that kind of antenna. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to measure the frequency output of this transmitter, this transceiver, handy talkie. Um, I'm going to push transmit, and I, I, I can't get a good visual on the meter, so you just have to trust me on the reading. So I'm pushing transmit, K4GSK, and it says it's transmitting on 436.195. The meter says 198. Pretty close, pretty close. Um, so you can only measure frequency this way. Now you can also measure frequency by connecting it directly, and you get a better reading that way. Now, I want to measure power output of this transceiver. This is a Bofang UV5R, and what, to do that, you have to hook it up directly. And it has a load in the meter to give you the proper impedance of 50 ohms. Now, typical meters for this type of radios is an inline meter. So you connect one side of the meter to the radio, goes through the meter, and the other side is connected to your antenna. And I have several of those, but I don't have the proper connections to test this radio here. Okay, so now we have to direct connect the output of the transceiver to the meter. Just screw this in properly. Oops, I got it cross threaded. Probably should have put this in on first. It's got to go slower. Now I'm cross threading it again. I'm just in too big a hurry. Get it started. Now, nope, I'm still cross threading it. Okay, let me, um, let me take this out and do it the other way. <laughs> Okay, now it's easier to put this on the meter. There we go. Pretty simple doing it that way. Now we'll have to see if we can get this. This this is not a slit. It does the it doesn't slip. So you have to whatever device you're connected to, you have to turn it. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. And I should have turned the radio off before I did this, but anyway. Haste makes waste. Okay, now we have it connected. Now I can push the transmit, push to talk on this, 
and it sh it's off now. I'll turn it back on. It should give me both frequency and power. Power is at the top, excuse me, at the bottom. So I'll push transmit, KE4GSK, and it says the power output is 5.5 watts and it's 436.199. And, and it's the, the, the frequency on the radio is 195. Okay. Is that right? Yes, that's right. Okay. So, that's, <laughs> I forgot what I said already. 5.5. Uh, 5.5 watts. This is capable of 5 watts. That's what's advertised. So that's pretty close. That's within a half a watt, and maybe the output is actually a little bit different. Now, the other mistake I made in the previous video is I couldn't get the power output changed to low on this. And the reason being is you can only change the power output in the VFO mode. You can go through the steps and it will come back and say confirmed, but it hasn't changed it. So now we're in VFO mode. I'm going to push menu. I'm going to go to power, wherever power is. Oops, that's not power. Get what the past power it's it was then set on high which is what it should be on high this should be five watts output so I'm going to uh, push menu again select low push menu again ex exit I'm going to push menu push menu again to verify I got it set and it does say low so I'm going to exit so now it's set in the low power mode which should be about one watt we'll see what we get K4 GSK. Well, it turned off. The meter turns off. The meter turns off after about 30 seconds. It says 1.4 watts. Reasonable numbers. Reasonable numbers. Unlike the test results I got before when I was really messing up because I wasn't really changing the power output. So I was measuring what I thought was the low power. It was still measuring, it was still outputting high power. So that was the problem. So now that I got everything configured right, the meter looks like a pretty good meter. I don't know the exact output of the radio here. It could be this is measuring it pretty close. I don't know. And because these are Chinese radios, they vary all over the place. A lot of people only get like 2 watts out. So I think the, the meter is is pretty accurate. The meter is forty dollars on Amazon. It's in my Amazon store because I'm like now that I've learned how to use my radio again, I'm gonna give this meter a thumbs up. It's forty dollars, gives you power reading and frequency meeting reading either the frequency can be either read direct coupled or via antenna. And you can use this on for frequency, you can use this on other devices. Um, say a baby monitor or something like that, measure the frequency of the baby monitor. Okay, I think I've corrected myself. I'm really sorry for all the mistakes. The people that viewed my show online, live, I'm sorry, I made so many mistakes. Um, for you that had a chance to view that video before I took it off the air, when I realized I had really screwed up, I apologize. So, this show will replace that show. I had an inkling to give this a thumbs down, but it was all my fault. So now I'm going to give this meter a thumbs up. Fairly inexpensive at $40. You can get these off of eBay for, I saw one for $35, free shipping, just like this is, if you, it, well, yeah, this is free shipping also on, on Amazon. The beauty of Amazon, if you get a bummer, or you don't like it, or you don't like the color, um, you can send it back and get your money back. Not a problem. The one problem I did have, which I indicated pretty extreme last show, is getting this battery cover off. It slides off, but it's an extremely tight fit. I was at the point, and I even had it here, I had my sledgehammer, and I was waiting to use a sledgehammer on it, and I came very close, but I was able to kind of push on it real hard, get a little bit of a space here. I had, I, I don't think I have it out right now. I had a little screwdriver. It popped right open. No problem. So 
that's the only problem I had with it, except operator error. So I hope I corrected myself. In I appreciate uh, you watching my shows. In every one of those, every once in a while, I have one of those days. Today has been a bad one. One of our cats got out uh, a day and a half ago, and um, we let, normally let that cat out for about 20 minutes and then bring her right back in. Well, she got out, and we couldn't find her, and she was gone overnight and another half a day, and we thought she was just gone or got run over or something. We had given up on her, and it turned out <laughs> I found her this afternoon up in a tree way up in a tree. She was 30 feet high in a tree, and it was a tree with no lower limbs. So I I, uh, I couldn't get her to come down. Well, I called the fire department, which I shouldn't really do because they deal with emergencies of human beings, not emergencies about animals. And they came out, and they kind of looked up there and said, well, we, we can't really go up there after because she'll just run off from us being scared, so they, they left, which that didn't surprise me. Uh, our next-door neighbor, who's much, much, much younger than me, I am, came over and climbed up via a ladder and got her down, and she's now down. That's why I'm kind of out of breath. We just did that. So anyway, have a great day. <laughs> oh, boy, this has been a bad one for me. Bye-bye.